So as you can tell, this is a fire extinguisher. Now, uh, this is a pretty small one, and uh, I just like to have a small fire extinguisher because, uh, for instance, when I'm making all my other videos, like how to make a match rocket and, or like how to make a fuse, I, I always have a fire extinguisher nearby uh, in case something goes wrong. But not everybody has, has a, a nice small fire extinguisher like this, and they're really handy because it's a bit of a pain to haul around like your eight pound fire extinguisher. So today I'm going to show you how to make a fire extinguisher out of a water bottle. So uh, to make it, you'll need a water bottle, of course, uh, some water, some vinegar, some baking soda, toilet paper, and soap. It's important that it's toilet paper because, like, uh, for instance, a tissue or a paper towel just doesn't break down fast enough. And I'll explain that later. But anyways, uh, let's get started. So the first thing you'll need to do is unscrew your cap and drill a hole in it that's about 3 sixteenths of an inch big as I've done. And by the way, I'm just using a, an average sized water bottle. If you want, you can use one of those big, like one liter pop bottles, but uh, I'm just using a smaller bottle for this fire extinguisher. So basically the first thing we're gonna do is take our vinegar and fill our water bottle up with the vinegar. Uh, let's see. You don't need need a lot of vinegar. Uh, just fill it up like about two inches full and then take your water and fill it up all the way up until you have about three and a half or four inches of room left in the top of your bottle. Like that. Actually I might put a little bit more vinegar in that. But again this is where you can just play around with the amounts. I found this seems to work pretty good. So you're filling the bottle up about two thirds full and out of that kind of mixture there, it's about one third vinegar and two thirds water. So we'll just set that aside for now. So now take your toilet paper and just tear off about two, two sheets of it like that. We'll set the rest of it aside and then take some of your baking soda and just put about two tablespoons on your toilet paper, like that, maybe a little less, and just make sure there's not a ton in the middle. You'll see why in a minute here. And you just want to roll this up. This can be a little bit hard sometimes to keep it from coming out the ends, but yeah, just do your best to roll it up here, like this. There we go. And then grab your ends here and just fold it in half. Now you don't want to just squeeze it in half because then, the, then the toilet paper on the bottom where the seam is, it'll break. You just want to kind of work it down there so you can basically fold it in half like that. So now we have our little sack of uh, baking soda and I'll show you how to put it in the bottle. Alright, so now I'm going to show you how to put the sack of baking soda in the water bottle. I'll warn you that this is the hardest part of making the fire extinguisher, but as long as you didn't use too much baking soda, it should be fairly straightforward. Uh, I forgot to tell you, what you want to do is just squirt some, uh, squirt some, of, your, some of your dish soap into the water bottle, uh, into your mixture here. It'll just help everything foam up when you shake the bottle up. I've already done that, just squirt some in there. And then what you want to do here is take your sack, just twist the end into a point here, like I've already done and take the cap of your water bottle and just thread it onto that point like that right and then just flip everything upside down and just give it a little shake basically you're just evening it all out there so there's not a big so, so that there's not like a big clump of baking soda at the bottom and then you should just be able to kind of work it into the bottle like this and like I said uh, don't use too much baking soda because if you do it'll be next to impossible to get it in here. There we go, that's working. Just like that. And just hold on to the top of it here just to make sure it doesn't fall in there. And then you can just screw on your cap carefully. Like that. So, that's it. It's done. Uh, just make sure you don't shake it too much. I'm going to go to uh, the edge of my deck and show you what it does. Alright, so when you're ready to use it here, you just push this little stub of 
toilet paper back into the bottle and shake like there's no tomorrow and just point it at your fire and uh, well you'll see what it does. Alright, so what I've done here is I made up another fire extinguisher and over there as you can see I have some uh, granola bar boxes that I'm going to light on fire. I'm going to use this lighter fluid because it's just rained out so they're not going to light that well on their own. And it's also good, a good time to light stuff on fire because everything's all wet and I'm not going to start a huge fire. So anyways, uh, I'm like that so you can see it'll easily put on a fire that's like two feet in diameter. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this and learned something from it. Uh, thanks for watching.